How's it going guys? My name is Ronnie, and welcome to my first YouTube video. This is my first time playing Five Nights at Freddy's, so I hope you guys have a good time watching me play um, it. I'm excited to be playing this game, and I hope you'll also be excited to watch my first video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, if you're wondering what this game is about, here's the plot. Five Nights at Freddy's follows a security guard named Scott, who works for a pizza restaurant called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. One night, when Scott arrives at work, he finds that the animatronic characters, who were designed to entertain children, have turned against their creators and are trying to kill the night guard. Scott must do everything in his power to survive the night. Bulleted list is as is follows is. It's an indie game. There are four main characters in the game, uh, Freddy, Susie, Chica, and Roxanne Wolf. These characters are robots with kids, and the game was created by Scott. How to beat Five Nights at Freddy's, dash. One, turn on night vision mode. Two, click on the camera to see the locations of the animatronics. Three, click on the light switch to turn off the lights. Four, click on the door handle to open the door. Five, click on the music box to set the music back to normal. Six, click on the door to close the door. Seven, click on the phone to call security. Hey everybody, it's me, Jared. I'm here with a new FNAF game. I'm still learning this game, but I've been playing it all the time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this game for a while, and then I'll let you guys decide whether or not I did a good job. And now let's play and see if I do a good job. It is a game where you play a desk at a restaurant called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. You have to watch the doors and kill the animatronic characters that come in. You have to do your best to stop them, but it is not easy. It is not easy at all. I think the game is very interesting, but it is a little bit scary. I don't want to play it again. If you play the game, you will see what I mean. Night 1. Hey, what's this? Night 2. Hey, what's this? Night 3. Hey, what's this? Night 4. Dead children all over. This isn't good. Terrible animatronics lurk around every corner, waiting to jump scare you. Thanks, Scott. What's a Five Night at Freddy's without a bit of cannibalism? You get a little bit of a fright as you walk past the animatronics. You walk up to the desk to get your tickets, and the man behind the desk looks very intimidating. You take your tickets and walk towards the door, but it's locked. You hear a screeching sound, and the man behind the desk yells at you. I told you to leave. Get out. Now. Night 2. You're still here? He's gonna kill you. You're gonna die here. You're going to die at Freddy's. It's been weeks since the spring day when the first animatronics started roaming the halls. Now, the animatronic is standing in front of the office door, and I can't open it. It's been a few hours since my coworker left, and I'm starting to get a little bit irritated. I can't believe that I'm actually still developing a fear of animatronics, and I'm not even at the office. I start to growl at the animatronic, and the last act of night starts. Roxanne Wolf was just your typical 17-year-old girl. She had her whole life ahead of her, and she was just having her day-to-day -day life. But then one day, she wakes up in a nightmare funhouse, and she can't get out. Now she has to figure out how to get out of this place by herself. She has to do this while also keeping her sanity and her life from falling apart. I'm a fan of Roxanne Wolf. She's my favorite video game character. She's the best. She's the best game character. She's not just the best game character. She's the best game character I know. She's the best game character in the world. Help me create funny Five Nights at Freddy's videos for YouTube. I have a Five Night at Freddy's Let's Play of my PC. Eventually, you'll have to defend yourself from the animatronics, but you'll have to be careful about your ammunition as the game ends when there's no power left for the animatronics. But who said games have to be serious? Have some fun with this one and enjoy the crazy, funny, and terrifying adventure. Hey, guys, tell me what you're doing. I'm sorry? You'll do anything I say, just don't kill me. Oh, I don't want to kill you. Please don't kill me. 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 It's night five of your summer vacation, and you're already tired of your parents' company. You're bored, you're tired, and you're hungry. Fazbear. I'm so sorry you found me. I've been hiding in the dumpster for a while now. I was abandoned here, left to die. I need your help, please. If you don't help me, I'll die here. If you're a fan of the Five Nights at Freddy's, you'll enjoy this video. We've managed to recreate the game in real life, and more than anything, it's terrifying, dead children, animaniacs, and Fred. At the end, Five Nights at Freddy's is a scary point-and-click adventure game. You play as a nightlight security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, trying to survive five nights. Every night, everything goes wrong, and you have to try to figure out what the animatronic animals are doing. This is an example of a great outro. Please subscribe to Freddy. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the night. We love making content just so you guys can enjoy it. Goodbye.